what's up guys so welcome back to my youtube channel lately there's a lot of people asking me how to do that how to do this blah 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 so today i'm going to answer all the questions you've been asking me about kinemaster let's have a q a segment first is how to export or save your video by the way, shout out to RB from Canada. She's the one who's asking me how to export videos. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you how to save or export your video. But first, let's insert a short video clip. So go to media. And then choose one clip. Okay, so... Next is click this share button and then makikita niyo yung resolution, frame rate, and bit rate. So usually yung common na ginagamit po natin is 1080 and then uh, 1080 resolution and then 30 frame rate. And then dito sa baba yung bit rate. So Pag medyo mahaba yung video, hindi ko siya sineset ng high. Kasi minsan nagkakaroon ng error. So, madalas nasa 7 or 8 lang siya. Pero kung short clip lang guys, pwede nyo naman siyang i-high. And then after that, click export. So, saan ba mapupunta yung in-export natin na video? Yung video po na in-export nyo is matatagpuan nyo po sa video or sa gallery. And then may folder do na export. So, doon nyo po siya makikita. And other option kung paano po tayo makakapag-save or um, export ng video. Back kayo sa main. And then click nyo yung video. So, makikita nyo dito merong play share button, meron din duplicate project and then meron tayong delete so ang pipindutin po natin is yung share button so ayan, ganun lang mag save guys ok, second is how to fix kinemaster export error, so ito wala pa naman po nagtatanong sa akin but just in case you experience this for example, um, this message pop up while you're exporting or your video just stopped from exporting. Ito po yung possible na mga reason. Okay, so one of the reason why your video stopped from working or exporting is there's too much project on your application. So you need to clear or delete some of your projects and then go back to the newest project and then export again okay so another reason is your video settings baka po kasi nag adjust po kayo ng sobrang taas ng bitrate nyo and then mahaba po yung video or project na ginawa nyo minsan po nag error so dapat po um, mababa lang po siya and then Minsan po guys, pagka gumamit po tayo ng camera na mataas yung resolution and quality niya, once in-insert nyo po yung video dito sa KineMaster, hindi na po niya kinakaya or hindi na po kaya ng phone nyo. So, it's important to adjust your bitrate and resolution. Okay. Third is how to overlay video into another video. Another question from Mom Bernadette. So I'm gonna show you how to overlay video and how to zoom in and out. Okay guys, so first go to media and then select a video. So magi insert tayo ng first video natin and makikita nyo po siya sa timeline. So adjust natin siya sa harap. And then, go to layer, media, and then select another video. So, ito guys, pwede kayo mag-insert ng video, pwede rin naman pong photo. Depende po sa ginagawa nyo video. So, ayan na siya. So, dito guys, pwede nyo siyang zoom in, zoom out. And, pwede nyo po siyang galawin kung saan nyo po siya gustong ilagay. 
Ayan. So, liliitan natin and then lalagay natin siya sa baba. And then, play nyo po. Ayan guys. So, nakikita nyo, dalawa na po siya. May video sa background and then meron naka-overlay na video. So, ito po. Um, pwede nyo rin siyang i-move guys kung saan nyo po gustong makita lang yung in-overlay nyo video. So, nakikita nyo sa timeline, ginagalaw ko. For example, ganyan. Gusto ko siya makita sa bandang gitna lang. And then, sa huli, mawawala na ulit yung in-overlay kong video. So, ayun lang. Ganun lang po siya kadali, guys. Um, pwede kayo maglagay ng video hanggang dalawa. Okay, so, fourth question is missing files. Okay, so someone asked me, but I can't remember her name, kung bakit po daw ganito yung nangyari sa ginagawa niyang project ang nakalagay is a video file is missing so ito po guys napaka importante nito once gumawa po kayo ng video sa kinamaster napaka importante po na isave nyo lang po yung clip nyo hanggat hindi pa po tapos yung ginagawa nyong video wag nyo pong i-delete kasi po guys once dinelete nyo po yung video nyo from gallery Ang mangyayari po, pag pumasok po kayo sa KineMaster and ginamit nyo po yung video na yon, talaga pong mawawala siya. Ang lalabas po is missing na po kasi po dinilit nyo na po yung video. So, ayun guys, suggest ko lang po, wag po kayong mag-delete ng video kung hindi pa po kayo tapos or nag-export ng video. Okay, last is how to remove KineMaster watermark. Yung KineMaster ko guys, hindi siya galing Play Store. Actually, may nag-share lang sa akin nito. Shoutout nga pala kay Tope. Salamat. Tapos, ayun guys. Um, nasa-search naman to and nada-download. Just go to Google and then type AC Market. So, pag na-search nyo na po yung AC Market guys, ida-download nyo po yun. And then, after nyo po i-download, install nyo po. So, pag na-install na po siya, search nyo lang po yung um, KineMaster APK so ito guys, wala tong bayad free lang siya and walang watermark, kaya lang yun nga, hindi lahat ng features ng KineMaster magagamit nyo so may limit lang siya, pero okay na din so, ayun guys that's it for today, sana may natutunan po kayo, salamat Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for more updates.